Hi, welcome to another Page Turning Tuesday with Tom. I'm going to be reading again from my first book. Uh, book three just came out about six days ago. And let me tell you, it's selling like penguin rinds. So, no, sales are good, you know. Um, would I like them to be better? Yes. Please tell friends about the book. Help me get the word out if you liked it. So, let's pick up where we left off. I'm um, in the fourth grade. I'm in Ms. Gibbs' class. And um, let's jump right in. Ms. Gibbs demonstrates, sorry, Ms. Gibbs decorates our classroom with art projects, mostly my art projects, which means the telepathic brain waves I've been sending her are still working. Then, for some unknown reason, she gets the idea that I'm intelligent, perhaps wise beyond my years, and in need of more challenging material. She introduces me to some cutting-edge, self-teaching workbooks that have just become available to select schools. These are phenomenal learning tools for self-motivated, intellectually superior children with exceptional attention spans, an eye for detail, high morals, integrity, and the self-discipline and passion to learn independently. Unfortunately, I don't possess any of those qualities. All of the answers are in the back, and with so much pressure, to live up to her expectations, I cheat. I'm smart enough to write in the wrong answer here and there, so my scores are just shy of perfect. I plow through an insane number of workbooks so quickly that by the middle of fourth grade, I'm at least on paper proficient with college-level calculus, metaphysics, and European literature. In fact, all I've really learned is how to cheat, lie, and deceive. The fact that I suck at math and spelling to this day can be traced back to those workbooks. It's the price I paid for love. Our cutting edge elementary school has a program called Mentally Gifted Minors, or MGM for short. The kids in MGM are part of an elite group. They get to go on exclusive field trips every other week to places like the university's veterinary lab, where you can place your entire arm into a rubber sleeve that enters the midsection of a living cow. Apparently, this disgusting invasive concoction was created by a veterinarian instructor to teach about the cow's complex digestive system. Honestly, I have no idea why this is considered one of the perks. MGM kids are also excused from regular class on Friday afternoons to work on special projects, see notable movies, and discuss special topics. The MGM kids form special bonds with the three MGM teachers. Ms. Gibbs is one of those three teachers, and she invites me to take the test so I can join. Suddenly, no one wants to be in MGM more than me. My MGM ticket MGM is my ticket to taking my crush to the next level. All I have to do is pass the mysterious special test. Gifted? Probably not. Highly motivated? Absolutely. The odds of failing are high, but there's a slight chance I'll pass. And if I do, Ms. Gibbs will see the, I, that I have the intellectual capacity of an adult, which should instantly qualify me to be her husband. It's a risk I'm willing to take. All I need to do is make myself super smart, super fast. I spend a solid week before the test cramming my brain with information that's sure to boost my IQ. The largest single cell on earth is the ostrich egg. The white part of the egg is called the albumin. It takes mercury 88 days to orbit the sun. Bananas are curved because they grow towards the sun. Billy goats urinate on their heads to attract females. Birds do not urinate. Rats and horses can't vomit. There are 206 bones in an adult human body, 52 of which are located in the feet. That's 26 per foot. Human saliva has a boiling point three times that of regular water. Iron floats in mercury. Bulgaria is roughly the same land mass as Tennessee. During recess, instead of playing outside with everyone else, I sit in the library thumbing through the giant dictionary, but with my short attention span, I often drift off task and look up other words like fart. That sounded like one, didn't it? which is actually in the dictionary and its definition is perfect. A minor explosion between the legs. It's so proper and strangely accurate you can't help but love it. I move on to the encyclopedias and browse the periodicals to be up on current events. After school I watch game shows instead of my favorites. Every evening I ask John a scientific question 
and let him fill my head with equations, diagrams, facts, and concepts I can barely grasp, let alone remember. At night, I self-hypnotize myself to sleep using EST techniques I read about in one of my mother's books, convincing myself that I'm intelligent. The mind is capable of anything. I'm wise, me smart. It's not easy, but the hard work seems to be paying off and I can sense my IQ rising. On the morning of the test, I awake feeling confident and a bit more intelligent than I had the day before. I'm as ready as I'll ever be and I leave the house determined to pass the test that could change my life forever. Oh, I remember this so well. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next Tuesday on another Page Turning Tuesday uh, with Tom. Hey, that's me. Bye for now.